We're showing about 106 lots here in uh, the DIFC in our brand new gallery space. They had to have some sort of connection to the region, whether thin or quite obvious. Uh, the overall theme of the sale, which is entitled Boundless Dubai, is really about bringing together international artists in conversation with Middle Eastern ones. I think all the works talk to each other in quite an interesting way. There's a nice thread throughout the catalogue. I think it's important to place for once the region as a centre of knowledge and arts and culture. We wanted to make people proud of Dubai as a cultural hub. We wanted to make people proud and excited about how influential the region was throughout centuries. There are two pieces. One is the Ali Benissad, uh, very well estimated, two to three hundred thousand uh, dollars. Next to it, the Sorab Seperi, in the same estimate, two to three hundred thousand dollars. Works, for example, like the video of the Hajj or the Khalil Gibran letters, they're so difficult to price because there is no precedent. They're rare. They're iconic. We always try to price things uh, attractively to meet the market expectations to send a positive signal to potential buyers that are out there uh, that you should take your chance because an, an estimate is just an indication. Some works sell for 10, 15 times the estimate, others stay within the estimate. So it's a lot of market research, it's a lot of precedent for an artwork, but every artwork is different, even if it's from the same artist. The, the lowest value work is $1,000, which was one of my conditions to put together this sale with the team is we need to offer more affordable artists that the younger generation can not only afford but relate to. So to really get a younger crowd uh, excited by the auction process, about this auction platform and uh, to get a different crowd in as well.